he phoned me and asked me if I would go, and I said sure, because I wasn't going to teach. I was going to take a year out. Where was this place? Sarita River on the west coast of Vancouver Island, Barclay Sound. And he phoned me and he said, you know, you're not teaching. And I said, no. He said, you have nothing booked for September. And that was just a few days away from September. And I said, no. He said, I've got a job, he said, that I would really like you to take. And he said, they deserve a really good teacher. And so I said, where is it? He said, on the west coast of Vancouver Island. I said, what's the transportation like? We said, there's a plane in and out twice a day. Oh. I thought, you know, you can get home every weekend and everything. He didn't say the plane was in and out from Sarita to Port Alberni. <laughs> and anyway, I said, oh, sure, I'll go. And uh, so I got there and they got off the plane and they met me and these three guys came down. They were the personnel manager and the manager and the assistant manager of the, of the outfit, McMillan Blodell. And uh, they said, you're the new principal. I said, no, I said, I'm a teacher. They said, no, no, the teachers are both here. You're the principal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I said, okay. The administration, now I was on an elementary temporary certificate Good Lord. And after the first week, the official trustee, because there was no school board, the official trustee, who was the personnel manager for the camp, came to tell me that I was being put on the uh, PC, the conditional professional, which gives you three years education credit. So I got quite a raise. And then because it was a, an unattached school district, they had been using the Port Alberni salary scale. Then a month later he came and told me, we're going to use the West Coast scale, it's much better. He said, so your salary is going to go up again. <laughs> and then he came and he said, the administration allowance was $300 a year more than it needed to be, a principal $30 a month for, you know, school with 42 kids, it's not much. And the principalship didn't mean a hell of a lot. Um, then they raised the principalship allowance to $6,000. My salary was $3,000. <laughs> I simply couldn't believe it. And then the next year, when I wouldn't stay again, they had a meeting which they invited me to and they just begged me to stay. And uh, <laughs> uh, they said, we'll double your salary. I said, no, no, no. I said, it's got nothing to do with pay. I said, I want to go to night school. I want to finish my degree, you know? I said, I have no education. I said, I've got to get my education completed. And I said, I can't go to night school from here. Um, they said, we'll fly you in and out on a chartered plane every weekend. I said, I said you don't get it. I said, I love this place. I love these kids. But I said, I just have to get on with my life. And you know, now at Sarita River, there is nothing. A few concrete foundations that the building sat on. When there was really a nice school, um, a rec hall, recreation hall that had everything. Um, I took the kids over there for a phys ed. I asked if I could use it. It was right across the school grounds from the school. And there was no place at school, no gym. It was just a three-room school. And uh, so I asked if I could use the recreation hall so that I could give the kids phys ed. They said, sure. So the, the community club had a meeting, and they said, sure. So I took the kids over there. And 
Tony Kaczynowski stopped me going, he said, how are you finding the hall for phys ed? I said, well, it's better than nothing. I said, but I can't put them on the floor because it's all slivers. You know, the man had been in there with the hobnail boots and the floor was all slivers. You couldn't have them touch the floor at all. And uh, so I said, so I, that's the only inconvenience I have. That's the only thing I don't like about it. And he was going across the field and there. He said, oh, don't use the hall for phys ed for the next four weeks. And I was miffed. I said to the others, because I took the whole school for phys ed. And I told the other two teachers, I said, there's no phys ed. And I said, I'm, I don't know. I said, he just said, don't use the hall. He said, he never told me what we've done wrong. I don't know why we can't use the hall. And I said, but I'll, I'll find out. Uh, I was really mad. And uh, so he said, just wait till you see the hall. He said, I'm not going to answer you. He said, just wait till you get back into the hall. Went back into the hall and the floor had all been redone, beautifully polished, as smooth, no slivers. And they made sure that there were no hobnail boots ever to go in there. They had great big signs. And any evidence of hobnail boots in there, that organization would be banned from using the hall. Wow. So I could put the kids on the floor. <laughs>